Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new first look of the next generation of Volkswagen. Of course, it's the new Volkswagen ID3. Why three? Because there was first revolution, the Volkswagen Bug, and then the Volkswagen Golf. And so Volkswagen is hoping this is the third revolution. They're a fully electric car with a platform uh, completely for an electric car from the ground up. Now, there are two packages. This is the regular package, and we can see uh, like uh, that color over there is the first edition, uh, or the first. Uh, there's gonna be only 30,000 uh, of them for the pre-order, and then this is going to be the regular one. So this is the size of the Golf with the wheelbase of a Passat. So it's a hatchback, so taller than the Golf, and has more room inside. So. Uh, first thing that caught my eye when I saw the pictures uh, was this front. Uh, on certain angles it doesn't look too aerodynamic, but it is. Now I'm gonna come closer. We have LED lights uh, on the front, and uh, this is the front bumper. There is intake for the air to cool the battery system. I'm not sure if there's a liquid cooling. Uh, a lot of information mixed in my head today. Is there's so many cars to, reviews, uh, to review, but I like this. Uh, Volkswagen badge. It is not uh, lit up. It just looks like that on the uh, all the reflectors. Now uh, on the front there is no front space. Uh, there's maybe just washer fluid. We have alloy wheels that are mostly covered for better aerodynamics. And now trying to read from the tire. So this is the 19-inch wheel and. This is the side look of it. Now it has big uh, windows, so there's a good overview. I've been in one of the cars. There's a white interior, this color mix, and black as well, I mean black steering wheel. So, a large windows, really nice design coming uh, from the side, and then the back looks of the ID3. I think it looks best in the white color. Those are also uh, even more closed uh, alloy wheels. So this is how the I3, ID3 looks. Uh, I've, what I've heard, this is not a fully uh, production car. There are some uh, things that are not uh, like in the production. So you can expect it next year. First delivery is in the summer. I like these LED lights. You know, the interesting, the hood opens uh, with this. So let's pop the trunk. Now it's somewhat of a golf size. If I back up to put it into the perspective, you can see the cargo space. There's an extra space zone down here. And down here you have your LED light. The seats knock down 40, 60, and then you can knock down the middle uh, area for a ski hole. As well, we have a little bit for a charger area. So I guess, um, this may be like a double ceiling, but uh, there's enough space. There's like maybe uh, two fingers of height, and then you can have extra storage space for your cables. Almost a flat bottom, easy entry install. So on the top, manually closes. You have your triangle over here. Uh, this one has tinted windows on the back. Uh, and a spoiler that comes down. So a lot of people here trying to film. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to get inside. So let's take a look at the materials. So this is hard plastic. Uh, we still don't know if this is gonna be in the production model. Uh, nice chrome door handles. Uh, this is leather. This is plastic as well. Uh, with some touch features and some ambient lights as you can see in this model in red of course you can change those on uh, doorstep now we have uh, these are the manual seats uh, cloth some nice materials that look nice the seats are comfortable cloth so the cameraman lost his uh, lens cover so we have interesting sport battles. I mean, they're not sport battles, but they look like they are a pause and a go. And that's what really is about just jump in, you go or pause. So let's sit inside. 
Now inside this is really interesting with the white leather steering wheel. I do prefer the black one. Let's close the doors. Okay, closing sound. Uh, now you have only two uh, windows. All four are electronically operated, but you press here when the car is unlocked, it turns on for the rear. So you can, uh, from the, this to either lower down the front or the rear. Rear doesn't go fully down, it go, stays like two fingers height. Now, this is the new steering wheel with a uh, plastic touch controls. It doesn't have haptic feedback, but you still feel when you press it, it feels nice. Uh, you have your cruise control here um, and other assistance. You can go through the menus, uh, volume up, view. So they're touch operated. There's also a um, sort of an, um, augmented uh, reality for the huge massive heads up display. I believe this model doesn't have the other ones have it. Um, so you also have a Volkswagen uh, virtual assistant, yeah. fine charging station. So you can hear how this works. We have navigation as well here. Uh, your range information, um, contacts. Uh, now the interesting thing is if you have a uh, navigation on, there's over here a, a light uh, that turns on if you're getting a call. Um, so you have here uh, information about the vehicle, uh, locations, setup. So part of this is not finished, it's just for a demo. Um, so the part I dislike is that you have heated, uh, everything is like heated seats, everything is on this touch operations. So even the whole menu is touch based, uh, like the temperature in the car, as you can see. And uh, volume. So the speakers are nice, I'm going to mute this. Uh, you, you can turn on the hazards. And um, you have here a menu. So on some cars this was touch as well. On this one it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, driving mode, comfort, sport, individual or uh, echo. Assists, you can detect cars, speed limits, uh, get a warning if you should take a break. Uh, so you can science here, air condition, rear, control the rear. Uh, you can cool your feet, that's interesting. Uh, warm hands, I guess the steering wheel has a heating option. Um, fast heating, fast cooling, fresh air. Uh, and then you have an air blow down here, you can just push it to the side and it's closed or just regulated. Uh, no physical buttons, unfortunately. So. Uh, let me just go here, climate, classic climate, so you can choose whether you want uh, which side of to get an air, an air care here as well, or you can just turn it off. And then you have your uh, 360 parking sensors or cameras if you have that option. This is the mirror. Looks pretty familiar from uh, Volkswagen cars with a blind spot uh, in the mirror. And on the bottom you have this uh, air. I mean like a little net uh, and then do you have this two large uh, cup holders uh, phone area maybe uh, for wireless charging or connection and then on the bottom you have two USB C's um, this like uh, divider which you can put uh, have a lot of storage area here and then you can just use the shutter to close this of course you have a um, armrests that are uh, individual so this is supposed to be a family car uh, personally I wish this was um, maybe um, just a one piece but I guess then you can easier access uh, the storage area here so this is really nice as you can see here now reverse uh, left um, or I guess you can fold uh, the mirrors like that or if I unfold them. Again. And then you have your uh, light switch here. It's automatic. Uh, you have modes. You can turn on the rear frost. I mean the frost rear uh, and front. You have front fog lights, I guess. Um, and, you know, rear fog and then 
is going to leave it on this. So this is interesting. It's a, a small display, but uh, crispy graphics uh, next to the large one. And this is where you operate at the, um, you know, automatic. So it's either this or this. Interesting. Uh, and then the parking brake over here. Um, if you press, then you, if you pass uh, the uh, brake pedal, then you get this. So, so you can switch between uh, two of these, uh, like a cruise control, or you can turn the speed limiter on, and then you can uh, change the, I mean, do the, the distance between you and the other car. And I guess you can change views here for the navigation, or you can um, switch to, So I want to go to the other one. Okay. Uh, anyways, this is like a quick look um, of the car. On the top, we have a mirror, LED lights on the top, of course, touch uh, controls uh, that sometimes work. Uh, emergency calls so don't work. And some other cars that I've noticed, LED lights uh, on the top. Uh, this one has a black roof ceiling and the seats feel nice, I would say. Uh, they're comfortable enough. Two meters tall, 6.6, .6, plenty of space. I believe the seat can go a little bit down and then I have an extra space. And if I pull this uh, even a little bit closer, uh, I'm going to see we have enough knee room and view around is pretty good. Now the door is open, but I'm pretty sure it's long enough so you don't have a blind spot. And let's check the rear uh, space. So. Uh, not to forget and the glove compartment, it's kind of plastic, which there was some carpeting, uh, no AC vents as far as I see, but a uh, roomy car for sure. Now, there's some reading logo, or does this music outside? So good closing sounds. Uh, this is the back as well, plastic, leather, and some sort of uh, better finished plastic, more smooth. This one has texture. Um, and then this is the back seat. So interesting, I have a flat bottom since the car is electric. Have pockets here, here and down. And then you have two USB chargers, uh, two USB-C chargers. And then you have on the side uh, passenger front uh, ISOFIX. Uh, like a lock and as well on the seats. The seats go down, really down, really deep. And then up here, and there's plenty of space. You even have the armrest with integrated cup holders. And of course, you can open the ski uh, hatch or if you have a glove, glove clubs. Uh, this eliminates white. So no uh, ambient lights on the back as far as I see, but there's plenty of space, even for a tall person. Uh, again, two meters, 6.6. .6. If you were a regular person, then, then you would definitely have enough space and enough knee room. And you have a speaker on the bottom. So um, I'm looking forward to see this on the road and test it maybe one day. Um, interesting design and concept. This is in specs close to Tesla Model 3, although personally I think uh, Tesla Model 3 uh, is a little bit more, uh, feels a little bit more premium, although uh, both cars look good. So the ID is going to start below 30,000 euros in Germany, on German market. So it might be around 30,000 like in Croatia and Eastern European markets. Um, the problem is the superchargers. So Volkswagen is uh, planning to build superchargers uh, until 2025 uh, and use Ionity superchargers that we can see uh, up uh, there. Uh, but in Croatia, for example, there are no supercharger networks besides Tesla. So if you buy a Tesla, you already have built-in supercharger network. Uh, for the Volkswagen that cannot use it, most uh, low chargers, I mean, uh, not too powerful chargers, it will take too long to power, uh, I mean, to charge your car. So, 
Uh, I'm gonna link all the information and the specs and the real range and the power, battery pack, everything in the video description because it is uh, hard really to memorize all of this information. I'm just gonna walk here so you can see the white model has a little bit different rims. Uh, and this is the first edition. So uh, you have on the side first edition. Uh, of course you have this Volkswagen that I might have missed uh, on the other models. Uh, this one has blue ambient lights. Uh, this one has white dash. I'm uh, not really sure what's the difference, um, honestly, uh, in the first. There's probably just cosmetical as far as I've seen a few details. Uh, anyway, I'd like to hear your opinion. What do you think about Volkswagen ID? Uh, would you rather get the Volkswagen or Tesla Model 3? I guess that's a no-brainer with a Tesla. But anyway, it's really different. We're kind of new to see Volkswagen stepping into a new era of fully electric cars. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. It helps me a lot. Leave your comment below. Do you like the i3 uh, or not? Of course, I like to hear your opinions. And I'm in Frankfurt Auto Show. I film a lot of cars. Audi, uh, BMW, Mercedes, and other brands. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay safe on the road. Bye.